What's going on everyone? Thank you all so much for clicking this video. I'm really excited. By the time this video is out, I should be done by with my powerlifting meet. But I'm gonna go over everything that I use for my powerlifting meet. Hopefully this is helpful and when you decide to do your own powerlifting meet, you can choose what you need and what you don't need. So to begin with, to get onto the platform, as a competitor in USAPL, the things that you need are a singlet. So I have right here my large SBD singlet. I've been using this for the last four competitions and I love this thing. I would strongly recommend it. You can also pick it up at Anderson Powerlifting. If you're interested, this runs about for 70 or $80, but there are some other singlets that you can get at a much more affordable price. Secondly, you will need deadlift socks. You need these for deadlifts. Reason is, is that when you're deadlifting, let's say you were to scrape it off your knee, you probably don't want to deadlift on a bar with blood on it. So using uh, deadlift socks are definitely helpful. They prevent that. And then when you use baby powder, you can put them on these and they're fine. But uh, deadlift socks cost about $15, $20. You can get this at Anderson Powerlifting as well. And lastly, the um, thing that you need is Tidy whities I know this is weird, but you need tidy whities The reason behind that, I have no idea. Also forgot to mention, another thing that you need to compete are shoes. I know some people like to deadlift with uh, just, you know, with their socks. I get that, but for the purpose of competing, you need shoes. Uh, so what I use for deadlift shoes are Converse. These, you can get these for like 25, 30 bucks. Um, I also recommend you signing up for Fitness Deals News. They have crazy deals on shoes. Uh, I got these for 20 bucks and typically they run about for $50. They have great deals on pre-workouts. I'll leave the link down below. You can sign up for their subscription letter. I also got five pounds of diametized protein for $20 that's coming in the mail very soon. They let you know on crazy deals. So I'd recommend you checking out Fitness Deals News. Now, for the equipment that I use for my powerlifting meet, I'll talk about what I use for mobilization and stretching. I strongly recommend carrying a lacrosse ball. Uh, this is perfect for rolling out your back, getting to those little uh, places. I use it for my hips too. And you can get like a pack of these for a very affordable price at your local Dick's Sporting Goods store. Get a lacrosse ball and they're easy to hold on to and if you lose one, you can have a bunch of extra. Next, I strongly am an advocate for uh, Voodoo Floss. I got a pair of this, like the red one. This is like almost six feet long. And then also the black one, which is a little bit thinner for about $25. Now I got this off Amazon. This is the Wad uh, Voodoo Floss. What I use this for, you guys can check out a video. I'll probably leave a card somewhere here, but I use it for warming up my knees and my hips. My hips are very tight. I have a nine to five job where I'm sitting at a desk. I travel a lot, I drive a lot. Strongly recommend getting Voodoo Floss to really warm up your hips, prevent any injuries, and also kind of get you to where you need to be for your squat bench and deadlift. So strongly recommend you getting a pair of those. One thing that I also recommend that I don't have are the hip circles. Um, I believe that Strong has them or uh, Mark Smelly Belt. I, I don't know. I'll leave a link in the description here. But uh, the hip circles are amazing. Strongly recommend that to fire up your glutes for deadlifts. Um, even for bench, uh, because I use a lot of leg, leg drive in my bench, use it. Um, and also, of course, for squats. So get a hip circle. I think those run for $20 or $25. Eric has it. We share one. Uh, and he lets me use his, which I'm very thankful for. Strongly recommend look into a hip circle. Those are fantastic. Next on the list of things that I use for my powerlifting meets, uh, my squat shoes and my bench shoes. These are the Addy Powers. I love these. These are three quarter of an inch. I had the Adidas powerlifting shoes before this, which were half of an inch. And honestly, the reason why I got these and why I love these so much and I prefer these are the fit. Uh, not so much because of the height. I mean, I can definitely tell but the stability of the shoe, it fits like a glove. It's not so tight where it's restricted and it hurts your feet, but it just fits very well and the stability of this is insane. Um, if you're looking to like splurge a little bit, these cost about $200. But if you sign up for Adidas like website, they send you 15 to 15% uh, off, excuse me. So that's $25 off your purchase with, with free shipping. So I got these for $175. Again, if you're looking to get new powerlifting shoes, I strongly recommend these. Uh, I think another one that's comparable to these are the Romaleo 3s. But from what I hear is that they're a little bit wider. If you're looking for more of a fitted shoe with more stability, personally, I lean towards this. The next thing on the list is the SPD wrist wrap. So I have both these 
and the Titan wrist straps. The Titan wrist straps are not as stiff as the material as this one. These are super tight. Uh, definitely I can feel the stability around my wrist when I squat and when I bench. These are great for squatting. For me, I do low bar squats so I can feel a lot of the weight on my wrist. Um, when I bench, these are also great to protect my wrist. Uh, the Titan ones are not as restrictive and as tight as material, um, but they are great as well. I strongly recommend the Titan wrist straps and I also strongly recommend these. I've had these for about three months and I love these. Um, they've been nothing but great. If you're looking for a little bit more stiffer material, get the stiff ones. These are medium. The red ones, they're fantastic. Great Christmas present. A question that I often get is what belt do I use? I use the Insert 10 millimeter belt. I've been using this ever since last May. I have no regrets. I love this thing. The only difficulty that I've had is when, let's say you gain a few pounds or lose a few pounds and you want to switch the uh, length of it, so like the sizing, you have to use a screwdriver to unscrew it and then you know, do it all over again. Whereas the SBD belt, where my brother has it, you can kind of switch the setting right there and then, so you don't really have to worry about it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the thing is, this is $100. The SBD belt costs $250. Uh, again, the luxury of that one is that you can switch the length and the size of it, like right there and then. Whereas this, you need to use a screwdriver and do it over and over again. I love this thing in terms of the performance. This is fantastic. I would strongly recommend if you're looking for a belt, get an Inzer belt. I also recommend a Toro belt from Titan. That one's also comparable to this one, but personally, I've just had this one. I love this thing. And the SPD belt, if you have a little bit of extra money and you want to splurge and you're serious about powerlifting, get the SPD belt. It's fantastic. It's like beautiful. It's like black leather and red on the inside. It's great. So strongly recommend that if you're looking to compete in the long haul, but Inzer belt is fantastic. So a question that I often also get is about knee sleeves, are they necessary? My honest answer is I don't know. Uh, personally, I've had knee surgery on my left leg, so using knee sleeves have been nothing but amazing. Uh, in terms of what they do, they help you with your spring at the bottom of the hole when you squat. They also keep your knees nice and warm in terms of getting blood to where they need to be in terms of like the major joints, especially with your knees. Personally, I love these things. Before I squatted without knee sleeves, my knees did hurt, uh, but the second I put these on, they were fantastic. So the strong, I strongly recommend uh, getting them. They're easy to put on, you don't have to break them in, um, and they perform very, very well, and they're very tight, uh, and that's what you want. Another brand that I recommend is SBD as well. Those were my first knee sleeves I've ever gotten, um, and I would typically actually compete with them, but since I've been using these this whole entire cycle, I'm gonna stick with them. SBD is fantastic, they're super tight, um, and that's the only problem that I have with them. I've had multiple instances where I'm sliding them up and they just stop, and it's so hard to put on, and if you're a power lifter, it's hard to put them on, you start to sweat, and it's just super frustrating, irritating. Um, with these, I've actually never had a day where I've had trouble putting them on, but they're super tight and they're great for perform in terms of their performance. So, Strong is fantastic, and I also strongly recommend SBD, uh, SBD knee sleeves if you're looking for a tighter fit. I wear a medium and both. Now, another thing that I recommend for your powerlifting meet is bring wired headphones. So I am currently charging my wireless headphones, but at the meet, you're gonna be there for three or four hours and the battery life of your wireless Bluetooth headphones are probably gonna die. So you always wanna bring wired headphones just in case because during the time that you're sitting between you know, each set, uh, when people are going up and your waves and you're waiting for your turn to go up, you wanna be listening to music, kinda of get in the zone. I strongly recommend getting headphones that can block people out allow you to get in the zone, that won't die. Uh, I have these Dr. Dre Beats, I got these for Christmas too, and I also have my uh, Jaybirds X2s, those are fantastic. But again, I'm bringing wired headphones along with my wireless headphones in case my wireless headphones die. So I'm gonna wrap up the video with a few last things. In terms of supplements, things that I always take with me, pre-workout, right? So you don't wanna take pre-workout right away. This is just my opinion, this is what I've done for my last four meets and it's worked great for me. This is kind of what we do. You take half a scoop for your squat. That's all you do. Then for your bench, you actually take no pre-workout. And then for your deadlifts, you take two scoops of pre-workout. So you want to save it all for your deadlift. Uh, personally, what I feel is that when you're squatting, you kind of get the feel of the crowd. You have the adrenaline. You have people watching you. The excitement is kind of your pre-workout. For bench, you kind of want to be in the zone and you don't want to miss a command. It's too often that I see people missing commands because they get the jitters, they get excited and it gets the best of them. So pre-workout, that's how I would use it. Half a scoop for squat, none for bench, two scoops for deadlift. 
Just my opinion, you don't have to listen to a word I say. Um, aminos, I sip on these throughout my workout. So I usually get like a gallon of water and I use about four or five scoops of aminos and I just sip on it throughout my entire, um, like, you know, powerlifting me. And that's what's been working for me. You're hydrated throughout. You don't want to be like dehydrated. That's the worst thing you can do. Right now, it's the day before my powerlifting meet and I'm drinking so much water, I'm gonna go get Pedialyte so I'm extra hydrated. And lastly, creatine. I take creatine like crazy during my meet. Uh, I usually take like five, 10 grams before um, anything. I just like dry scoop it and I have aminos. I'm crazy like that. And one last thing, bring candy. I know this is weird. Uh, if you're a powerlifter, you know this. You want like sugars, you want sweets, you want things that get quickly into your bloodstream. Sour candy is the way to go. So bring candy, bring apples, bring bananas. Um, I strongly recommend bringing PB&Js because they're gonna be filling but not so filling that you're gonna feel bloated and you're gonna feel like you wanna throw up. You just wanna have enough food. You don't wanna have too much food, but you also don't wanna be lacking in food. So. That's it guys, I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you guys learned a thing or two. This is everything that I use. If you have any questions in regards to what I use for my powerlifting meet or anything about the equipment, my opinions, this is what I use. Leave a comment down below, what do you guys think? If you guys wanna learn anything more about the equipment that I use, just let me know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Until next time, this is Marvin. I'll be at my powerlifting meet. Wish me good luck, I'm out.